So welcome to the track segment. Uh, and I'm going to say right off the bat, the first thing is I've never been on Road America before. And I know that's heresy being in the Midwest, but I haven't. Uh, the second thing is I have not been in a lot of these cars on a track before either. So it's kind of a double negative, but you have to be really quick to get used to the car uh, getting out there. You have to make the most of it because the third thing is you only get one lap and it's not even a full lap. If, that, if I wanted to get in every car, which is what I tried to do, I just didn't hammer one car over and over again. I got one lap in each car that I tested. And uh, the thing with that is makes it difficult, very difficult, because most of the journalists there, they don't do video. They just drive it, have fun. Maybe they'll write about it, maybe they won't. But for me, <laughs> the way I like to do video, it's not conducive for that. You got to get in, set it up in you know less than a minute and get out on track and be done for the next person. So I, tried, I did my best to get audio and video for each car. Uh, the next thing is they put cones on the track to break up the straights. And I'm gonna say this in every video, they put these cones to slow down the cars because these are street cars on a track that is horrific on brakes. So if they wouldn't have put those cones up to break up the straight line speed, you'd have people crashing, losing brakes, or you know even worse. They didn't want you riding any curbing. They didn't want you on any curbs at all. And they have cameras on the track to kind of monitor that. They didn't want any drifting, which you shouldn't be doing on a road course anyway. They, they wanted you to you know, drive cleanly within the limits, and you'll see a lot of my driving is probably seven to eight tenths, in the, especially in the cars I wasn't comfortable in. Now, there are a couple cars that I really loved and I was able to push a lot harder, but again, you won't see me going completely flat out, but you'll get a good feel for what the car is like. So the first car I got into that I actually did video in was the Kia Forte SX five door, well it's a hatch, with a turbo. And I wanted to get in this car right away because it was a good, uh, you know, it's not intimidating, uh, you know, it's not high speed. So let's take a lap in that and see how that works out. Kia Forte Turbo. It's got really good acceleration, surprisingly. But the brakes, of course. economy car, but whatever. Feels good. Feels quick. Feels nimble. Doesn't feel as wallowy as the uh, Mazda 3. But then again, it feels really composed. It's got a lot of power, a lot of torque down low where you want it. but you know there's not a lot of power there. It gives you that false sense of confidence, of course. But this is, you know, this is a street car, an economy car at best. just pulls you out pretty good. Fourth gear, 
90 miles an hour. 100, and I'm backing off. I don't know that these brakes are going to tolerate this too much. street it'd be really confident. So now I'm done with this lap and you can tell probably from my reaction and I don't do a lot of commentary when I'm driving on a track but I was really surprised by how sorted the suspension of this car was. It didn't have a lot of uh, understeer. I mean it, it understeered of course but it wasn't like horrific. You know uh, it didn't have a lot of torque steer. It felt really balanced and I was surprised by the power and how well the brakes felt. To a certain point, obviously, they started to fade on a track like this. But on the street, that it's got a really solid brake pedal feel, and it's one of those false sense of confidence type things. But on the street, this would be a really good car uh, from a driving perspective. It's got the power and torque where you want it down low. Uh, it doesn't torque steer handles good, and the understeer is not, not that aggressive. So uh, I was really surprised with this car. And if you get a chance to, to test drive it, if you're looking for a five-door, check it out.